Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Math Addiction. This is part 1 of Mathematics Section Solution of NRB Assistant Level 2 Examination held on 2075 ASAD 23. So without any further delay, let's get started. Question 1. A and B together can do a piece of work in 9 days. If A does thrice the work of B in a given time, A alone can finish the work in how many days? The options are 15 days, 12 days, 6 days and 4 days. Solution As A can do thrice the work of B in a given time, so it means the ratio of efficiency of A and B will be 3 is to 1. That is, if A does 3 units of work in one day, B does only 1 unit of the work in one day. So total units of work done by A and B together in one day will be equal to 3 plus 1, that is 4. So total units of work done by A and B together in 9 days will be equal to 9 into 4, that is 36. But A does 3 units of work in one day. So in order to complete 36 units, A will take 36 divided by 3 equals to 12 days. So the right option is option B. Question 2. If 15 meters of cloth cost rupees 1260, find the cost of 25 meters of the same type of cloth. Solution As we know the length of the cloth and its cost are directly proportional, it means as the length increases, the cost will also increase and vice versa. So first, we will find the ratio of the clothes. To determine the ratio, we will divide the new length by old length. So the new length is 25 meter and the old length is 15 meter. So 25 by 15 when simplified will give 5 upon 3. Now in order to find new cost, we will multiply this ratio with the old cost. So 5 by 3 multiplied by 1260 will give 2100 rupees. So the correct option is option A. Question 3. How many jars each of capacity 2.5 liters are needed to fill up 60 liters of oil? Well this question doesn't need much more discussion. It's pretty easy. The capacity of each jar is 2.5 liter and we need to find the number of jars that will be required to fill up 60 liter. So number of jars will be 60 divided by 2.5. On simplification we get 24. So the right option is B. If 3 by 4 of a stick is 6 meter, what will be the value equal to 5 by 8 of that stick? So in the question it has been stated that 3 by 4 is equal to 6 meter. Whatever be the length of the stick, it's 3 by 4 is equal to 6. So total length will be 6 into reciprocal of 3 by 4 that is 4 by 3. So total length will be 8 meter. Now 5 by 8 of 8 meter will be 5 meter. So the right option is B. Question 5. The subtraction of 2 1 by 10 from 3 2 by 5 is how much? So 2 1 by 10 is a mixed fraction. It can be written as proper fraction as 21 divided by 10. Similarly 3 2 by 5 can be written in proper fraction as 17 divided by 5. Multiplying the numerator and denominator by 2, 17 by 5 can be written as 34 divided by 10. Why we have done so? We just tried to make the denominator same so that subtraction will be easier later. So now 3 2 by 5 minus 2 1 by 10 equals to 34 by 10 minus 21 by 10. 34 minus 21 is simply 13 by 10. So the right option is C. Question 6. Which of the following fractions is the largest? It's a good question. This question can be solved by converting the given fractions into percentages. But the easier method will be. First we will take options A and B. 17 by 21 and 12 by 15. Then we will cross multiply. We get 17 into 15 and 12 into 21. So that will be equal to 255 comma 252. Among these two numbers, 255 is larger. So it means the first fraction 17 by 21 is greater than 12 by 15. Hence option B 12 by 15 is eliminated. We do the same with option C and D. Option C and D are 11 by 14, 5 by 6. Again we cross multiply. We get 11 into 6, 
5 into 14 that is 66 comma 70 among these two numbers 70 is larger so option C 11 by 14 is eliminated now we are left with only two options A and D so 17 by 21 5 by 6 again we cross multiply we get 17 into 6 5 into 21 that is 102 comma 105 clearly 105 is larger it means 5 by 6 is the largest fraction hence the correct answer is D question 7 which of the following is correct conversion of 7 by 10 into decimal it doesn't need much discussion 7 by 10 is simply equal to 0 0.7 so option C is the right answer question 8 simplification problem in 3889 plus 12.952 minus x equals to 3854.002 what is the value of x we need to find the value of x so see the approach 3889 plus 12.952 minus x equals to 3854.002 we will break 12.952 into two parts that is 12.95 plus 0.002 and similarly, the number on the right hand side 3854.002 is broken into two parts 3854 plus fraction 0.002. Cancelling 0.002 from both sides, we are left with 3889, 12.95, and 3854. Interchanging the sides, we get x as 47.95. So the correct answer is option number A. Question 9. What is the value of half of 1% written in decimal? Half of 1%. Half of 1% is 0.5% and 0.5% means 0.5 divided by 100. Removing the fraction from the numerator, it can be written as 5 divided by 1000, which is nothing but 0.005. So the correct answer is option A. Question number 10. If the difference between the simple interest received from two banks on principal of rupees 50,000 for two years is rupees 2,500, what is the percent of difference between their interest rates? It's a good question. Now let us solve this question using a simple approach. First, we will multiply the principal with number of years. So 50,000 multiplied by 2 will give 1 lakh. Now difference in simple interest has been given as 2,500. Using the given information, we can easily calculate difference in interest rates. The only thing you need to do is divide 2500 with 1 lakh. So 2500 divided by 1 lakh and convert it into percentage by multiplying with 100, we get 2.5%. So the correct answer is option number C. Question 11. What sum will amount to rupees 7500 in 5 years? at 10% per annum simple interest rate. Since the interest rate is 10% per annum, it means interest earned per year will be 10% of principal. So total interest earned in 5 years will be 10 into 5 equals to 50%. That is nothing but 0 0.50 of principal. We know amount is principal plus interest. It's principal plus interest. Interest is 0 0.50 of principal. So adding both, we get 1.50 of principal. Amount is equal to 7500. So principal will be equal to 7500 divided by 1.50, that is 5000. Correct answer is option B. Well, this question can easily be solved by checking the answer options. If you look at option number B, 5000, it is the only option whose half, that is 2500, when added back to 5000 will produce the required amount 7500 none of the other options will satisfy this condition hence the correct option is option b now last question of part one question number 12 the average age of 50 students and a teacher is 25 years when the teacher's age is excluded the average age decreases by one year what is the age of the teacher the question says that in the beginning there were 50 students and a teacher whose average age was 25 years then the teacher's age was excluded and the average age decreases by one year. It means the new average becomes 24 years. So what is the age of the teacher? We'll see two methods. Method one, 
Average age of 50 students plus one teacher, that is 51 person, is given as 25 years. So sum of their ages will be 51 into 25 equals to 1275. Excluding the teacher, average age of 50 students is given as 24 years. So sum of ages of 50 students will be 50 into 24 equals to 1200. Difference of the two results will give us the age of the teacher. So age of teacher is 1275 minus 1200. That is 75 years. Correct answer is option number D. Now, whenever we are encountered with such problem, when the age of one person is excluded and the average age is also decreased by one year. One person is excluded and average age is also decreased by one year. Then the shortcut way of solving this problem is will add original number of persons and their average and subtract one. So in this case, original number of persons was 51. Their average was 25. 51 plus 25 is 76. Then subtract one, we get 75 years. So this problem can be solved within few seconds if we know the approach. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel Math Addiction for more videos.